says, hey, this is wrong. So um, that's the big thing about board trustee. There's some other stuff which I can send in if you want to know, but um, at least for student government wise, that's what I did this past week, Friday. So I will give the time. Gabe, let's take up. Awesome. OK, so with State Cab again, um, so today they had the, the working meeting. However, I wasn't able to go to the working meeting because of my uh, scholarship priorities. Um, and and from what I know right now, we're, we're looking into, again, Siggy's Hub and how can that space be used? Um, because we, we have some uh, a group here on campus who's advertising it for, for their events. Um, but it's not being booked, so it's kind of like a little confusing on what exactly is going on with the space and how that space is just going to be strictly for, um, you know, student lounge vibes. Is it going to also include, uh, can it be rented out? All that stuff is getting figured out right now. Uh, and there was this past Wednesday was the ABOD meeting. Uh, and in this meeting, you know, again, they, they went over the master plan and how, what the results have been of the open houses and all that fun stuff. I did voice though that it was, you know, concerning to several students the idea of is this campus for students or is this campus to make money for AHEC? Um, and so it was, you know, just voicing right that is th if this campus is for students, is for that mission of, you know, everything we do as students, 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 um, like President Davidson says then how is that actually being reflected onto campus um, versus, you know, just wanting to gain profit from students um, and not actually, you know, doing anything. And then I also voiced uh, because they're talking about like the um, commercial building that's coming for, like, with, with the C2 Hub, but we, you know, with, with the adventures and so much fun stuff. Um, and we're talking about, you know, parking on campus and how will that affect parking on campus? Will that affect availability? There's already struggles with availability on campus, so how can that be better? Uh, and with the residential aspect of it, of bringing random, you know, people onto campus versus just students and faculty and staff, um, and how that can create the safety concerns overall. Uh, yeah, thank you. Awesome, thank you, Gabe. We will move on to the accountability committee with Ree, and then, um, Kenny, do you mind making sure that this has accountability committee in the future, so judiciary? Thank you. We have the board. Just a note to say that there is um, there are two items. One I'll touch on, and the other we will vote on in new business. That's all for now. Thank you, Ree. We now move on to the budget committee with Alejandro. So um, I just wanted to give you all a quick update as to how we're standing with the budget as of right now, um, just so you guys can keep in mind in case you guys want to have any more events and um, how much funding is offered for your committee. Um, <clears throat> as of right now, green purchasing still hasn't um, used any of it, so we definitely plan on getting with the sustainability committee to use up those funds. Um, student org allocations are still the same, which is 12,785. Um, we do have a few organizations that are interested in using those funds, so we're in the process of um, getting that solved and then ready for a uh, presentation next week. If it passes, um, events, budget, uh, still sitting at 1500. Um, budget committee has about 2000, office supplies about 35. Uh, we have 4000 in the leadership development and then 3000 in or 4000 in uncategorized funds. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Awesome. Thank you, Alex. Now we move on to the public relations committee with Matt. Um, so as far as public relations committee is concerned, we're looking at our next table event for next month. Um, me and Will have been going over some ideas of doing one like the week of Valentine's Day and handing out little like flowers or something as prizes. Um, and maybe doing it in the. Like the tabling section in front of the turn hall. Um, and I think you had something else to add, Will? Or no. Um, for the tabling specifically. Or anything else. Um, just. The counseling center thing, if you wanted to oh. hit on that. And then we're going to try and connect with the counseling center because I know there's some potential needs that we could help the counseling center with to potentially increase like um, 
different group therapies and stuff. Um, cause I know currently they can't get space outside of the counseling center cause they have to pay for it separately. Um, so me and Will are going to try and meet with them to see how easily that issue could be addressed by student government. Okay. So this, the PR committee, yes. Denny Europe. Um, the fair housing event, it is on the 12th next month. If that's what you're talking about, about tabling. Um, I have the flyers. Uh, it is in my, I mean, I have a flyer template. It is in my checklist today to print. Um, can you guys tell me about how many I should print for you? And then I will, of oh. course, help you put them on campus next week. But uh, we need to start doing that as soon was, as the, the next week starts. Was that event, though, us just signing on by name? Or are we are they expecting us to table that event? No, as I explained last week, yes, so it is our name, and then we also have to help them out All there, right. like social media, and we have to help them advertise. Yeah. Um, the the question that came up last week was was if either we had to help them sp uh, sponsor the room, which we don't anymore, but we do need to get those flyers out mm -hmm. and the advertisement out because it is less than two weeks from now. Well, maybe two. Exactly. Right. Um. So if someone can tell me how many flyers we think would be appropriate to print today. And you don't have to do that. We don't have to do that right yeah, now, yeah. but just can someone put them in their checklist and yeah. take a note before maybe three. All right. Can awesome. I... Thank you. All right. Uh, Gabe, you have your hand up? Thank you. Yeah, so I have two mm -hmm. questions overall. Uh, the first one being, will the PR committee still meet? What's going on with that? Um, and then secondly, also um, for the counseling program, do you know like which specific group? Because because I know that the Auraria recovery program was also like looking for a space mm -hmm. and uh, SACAB for like for now um, is, is is offering our office um, for the recovery group to meet for three hours. Um, and so, yeah, I'm All just right. wondering if, if you know like which groups by chance. No, it's more of an idea. We want to go meet with them to investigate more before we take any action steps because we want to work with them, not outside of them. Um, and as far as the meeting, I can send out a like questionnaire today to the PR committee to see when we can meet next week. Um, can can we meet later after to discuss those details? Awesome, thank you. Awesome. Um, sustainability Kennedy doesn't have a chair, so probably no update, so we're going to skip that. We're going to go to open floor announcements. Anyone have an open floor announcements for the, the group? We have Denny, they have Alex, and then Ree. Wait, we have the... And Will. So Denny, Alex, Ree. Okay, I got a lot. Um, so first, I will bring uh, the political science club. It is meeting. It's meeting. Uh, next week, the 30th and the 31st, uh, given that a lot of these students are looking to be involved in campus, I'm going to bring in elections uh, to them. Um, they might reach in with reach out with questions, so be ready for that. Uh, also, this morning we met with Victor. I pull those notes somewhere. No, no, wrong one. Wrong notebook, guys. Um, we are looking to pursue two plans. Uh, the first one would be uh, having a uh, reach out to the same buses that go to the Regency School and then bring students here and see what they like, like the possibility is from them helping us make that bus route. Uh, and then if that dies and we exhaust that op that option. Then Victor has a plan for a partnership with RTD and we would have to fill out an application. It is extensive and we're going to need a lot of help with with that. Um, also, I know some of us are not rerunning and this is going to be a prolongated project. This is going to require. So besides taking it into account, we have to make sure that we leave a template for whoever is rerunning next semester. Um, Will is going to work on a, a, a statement that this will be an ongoing project for TISA for probably the, at, at least the next year. Um, and then so the, we all agree that that is going to be the workload uh, for TISA as an institution. 
Uh, I have to attend President's Cabinet next Thursday, and I will bring that up during my update. I will also bring up and make a statement about, about the Dr. Nieto situation. Um, I am not going to, I'm, I'm going to say what I'm, about the things we're concerned about, one of them being that we're a Hispanic service institution and we're not really acting like one. Um, and of course the academic freedom piece. Uh, I will also tell them we are working in the fair housing event. And I am going to bring in that statement for peace that we uh, voted on uh, before break that we wanted Dr. Davidson to uh, act on. Uh, did I say President Davidson? I hope I did. Um, yeah. So if anybody has any objections to any of that, please let me know right now. So I know everyone's good. Uh, yeah, look, Will has a question. I have a quick question. Um, and this might be on me. Um, you, you did po post it, right? On the, post, the statement. Post right? what? The statement that you want Dr. Davidson to, like did on the team or someone? Is it out no. there? No. Oh, okay. That's, no, that, because was that was not, that was, I did not bring this in into the council. Okay. Um, but given that nobody has done it, anything, I'm going to bring it in President's cabinet because I, yeah. I don't know what else to do. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, yes. and, yep, I, and that is it. Thank you. Hi, right, Andrew. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. Um, so my fraternity, New Alpha Kappa, is currently hosting a scholarship that's open to all the students on the area campus. Um, all you really got to do is just apply and anybody is able to apply as long as, of course, they are a student at CCD, CU Denver or MSU Denver. And the due date for that, or the cutoff date, is uh, February 16th. Thank you, Alex. Re, you, your update? This is about the uh, safety kind of task force Alejandro and I are interested in for the safety event. I did speak to Andrew Pan Panwitz again with police and the campus police, and we're looking at February 23rd. The Friday at 11 a.m. Um, so we're I need to find out where our meeting is because hopefully if it's not in Tivoli 350 or whatever, we'll be able to have this um, and a larger size meeting room. Um, I've also invited um, Restorative Justice Coalition through a lease. I haven't heard back to see if they're able to participate with us because we need you know 10 people to be part of this. It's funded. Alejandro is going to check. Um, hopefully we can have lunch with this because it'll go from 11 to 1230. Instead of in involving our meeting, it'll lead right up, but right up to it. And then we'll begin the meeting. So lunch will be provided and hopefully that works for you guys. You need, please let me know if it doesn't check your schedules. And um, I'll also message everyone here too, you know, in teams, but I just wanted you to know that that's all for that. Thank you so much, Reed. Gabe, you have a question? Can you just repeat the date, please? Friday, February 23rd from 11 to 12.30, and then our meeting ensues right after that. All right, awesome. Well, we'll move on to your update. Um, yes, thank you. Uh, so I've reached out to the LGBTQ plus center here uh, at the TIV for training around sexuality, gender, and uh, awareness that goes with all of that, as well as the services that they provide to the student body. Um, I have not gotten an answer back, but I do plan on reaching back out to them. So I was a little worried about the secure um, safety training, excuse me, um, potentially messing, clashing, but uh, it, it won't be an issue. Thank you. That's it. All right. Go ahead, Denny. So with with all of these trainings that we've been doing, I do wonder if it is like efficient for us to take meeting time. Like Re has gone out of her way to like make sure it's outside of the meeting. Mm -hmm. Um and if we are going to like look into being trained into these things, I do wonder if it's like yeah, again, efficient or timely manner for us. Like do, do you think it is? And why? I think for me, I'm speaking for me, I think any training from the center, such as the Phoenix Center, 
LGBTQ plus center, the veteran center is worthwhile because again, it brings awareness to the counselors and it helps potentially build those relationships with those centers between us, the student governing body of MSU Denver and those centers that serve directly the, the student body. So I do think it's worthwhile. Um, but I also think that if it's flexible, right? It doesn't have to just be during our meetings. It can't be outside of those meeting times. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, and, and we can discuss this later too, but I think the training should be outside the meeting, and but we should we should find a resolution in all of this. But yes, I agree. They're absolutely important. Mm -hmm. um, it's just at the time that, because we have so little time left. Um, so you bring up something that I've been thinking about, and I think uh, I might write a bill about it, but I do think TSAC annually, because we get new members every year, should have a, I'll say, mandatory training alongside these centers to build up those relationships and to become aware. Um, I'm, I'm sure that many counselors in the past don't actually take the time to actually go and talk to these uh, different um, centers and see what uh, resources they can provide to connect to the students. So I am planning on potentially writing something along those lines that makes it more mandatory every year for TSEC to undergo some form of training with these centers. I like that. Thank you. Awesome. Was there, John, did you have something in response to that? Uh, this is open floor announcements, right? Do you have an open floor announcement next? Yes. All right, you're okay. So, hey, everybody, I just want to make an announcement that I started a walk club and we meet every Monday at 6 45 a.m. right in front of the student uh, government office. And so I've got one person that's walking already, and some other people are going to be walking. There's been so much focus on education, we have to include the physical element as well. And so I'm pioneering it, and it's, I'm in the process of communicating with Lyft and Uber to get some e-bikes as well, the next step. But now I'll be exercising, some other people to join us, and we usually walk for about 30 to 45 minutes, just talking and exercising and all the other kind of stuff. So I wanted to let that be known, and you all can join me. You beat traffic, you're here after you finish exercising, that's a good time to study because your brain is fresh. And when you have a fresh brain, you don't have to cram. You ain't got to be doing all that. And we're done. All right. So thank you. Thank you, John. That sounds lovely. We will now move on to Gabe, you have the gentleman. Oh, okay. All right. We'll now move on to faculty and staff senate with Denny and John. We'll start with Denny, then John. Um, I was, uh, oh, the faculty. Let me, let me make sure I have the, the right name. For this give me one sec yep uh by the faculty diversity task force they're um going to bring in a slight changes that is an understatement uh they're going to bring changes to the uh, faculty um manual and they think it's impor important for tsec to know how their faculty is being affected under the handbook the faculty handbook um i have a meeting Pretty soon with them, I, I will bring more updates, but that is all I have for now on the faculty staff center. Thank you. Denny, how about you, John? I haven't gotten anything yet because last uh, semester it was a, let's just go with now. I will reach out and see what's going on on my end. If I don't make a connection in the next week or so, I may end up withdrawing because I only put my energies to things that I'm passionate about. But I'll know by next meeting whether or not I'm going forward. Thank you, John. We'll now go to Council of Chairs and Directors with Denny. We have not met. All right. Not we have done. Yeah. Give me. I will put that to uh, email, Doctor Sink. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Now we'll do Tri Institutional Leaders Committee with Will. So we have also not met. Um, I do think that potentially it is something that is 
not worth investing so much time into, especially during our circumstances as we stand. I do think I would serve better somewhere else for that. Um, but on that note, uh, CCD's president, uh, Leo, uh, has been working with me and Matt to try to do something with EBT machines across the Aurora campus. So, and I hope to potentially bring that up in say cap or bring it through to you, Gabe, potentially. Uh, that is it. Lovely. I have a quick comment on that. Um, yes, as someone who started that task force committee, I have found that I don't think our time is, I think our time is being wasted on it. And I think your your efforts might be worth somewhere else. That's just my comment though. So um, let us move on to advisor updates. You have two minutes before you have public comment. We'll go to you afterwards. You have more updates after that. I don't like being silenced. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a couple of things about six. So first, um, elections code need to be codified. Me and Dr. Barone are reviewing them and we will bring them. We will bring you all our final revisions, hopefully by next week. Um, and that way you all have some time to, you know, vote them in. Second, with that being said, the Constitution, we've been egging this Constitution on since, October, since August, and we need to finish it. So this is now the deadline. We have two weeks. You have two weeks to get anything in, edited, revised, revis revisioned within yourselves. So by 2-9, if we can have you all's reviewed Constitution... And then from that point, Dr. Verone, we put ourselves on a deadline as well. We will have two to three weeks to get that R reviewed, legal reviewed, and brought that back to you all. So hopefully by the first or second meeting in March, we can finalize and vote this constitution and elections code in. Does that make sense for everyone? So that means you all have due diligence to work together for the next two weeks and get these edits in. I recommend creating a brand new Word doc and everyone adding suggestions this first week. The second week, you all review off time, not in this meeting. And then at the second meeting on 2-9, you send it over to us, and then we'll get started on our revisions. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, next is Matthew, if you could send me those ETIE's receipts for both days. Thank you. Um, and one last thing was reminder about funding initiatives and student government dollars. These are auxiliary funds, student fee funds. There's been a lot of conversations around um, helping groups, campus departments, students, X, Y, Z. I love the initiatives. Biggest thing I need you all to know, focus and remember, these are student fee dollars. These dollars need to directly help students. We are not helping departments. So if you are, example, buying a computer for students to use, Within a department, I think that is a little bit more manageable for accounting purposes, for our purposes and things like that. But we are not just giving funds to any department and or auxiliary group of this campus for them to use. We have to be mindful of how we're pitching what you're trying to support. That is all. Thank you, Armando. Um, we'll go to Dr. Brown after public comments. So um, it is now 101, so we will honor the 15 minutes we allotted. Um, if there's anyone here for public comment, please make yourself known. Matt, can you fix his microphone? There we go. All right, sir, please state your name and um, yeah, just state your name for the the. Uh, okay. My name is Andrew Vega. Hello. All right, Mr. Vega, you have five minutes for public comments. Okay. Um, I promise this won't take five minutes, but um, I just wanted to drop in and introduce myself. Uh, I am a recent transfer student from Red Rocks Community College. I served on uh, their Student Government Association from 2022 to 2023 as our public relations officer slash coordinator. Um, I'm pretty interested in getting involved in TSAC at MSU because I think that um, the student voice has a reason to be elevated, um, specifically when it comes to um, students with disabilities like myself, uh, which is 
pretty much the reason why I got roped into student government, because there were a lot of things that needed to be addressed at Red Rocks, and a lot of them still haven't been fixed. So, um, yeah, um, and I'm al already starting to notice in my first two weeks that there's a couple of problems here that need to be addressed. So um, I just want to say that um, I'm probably going to look into getting more information on joining and possibly looking into running next semester uh, once I get used to things. But this is a big transitional period for me. Um, I did have uh, one question to pose for the group, uh, if I may, as part of that is, uh, is TSAC currently doing anything to assist students with disabilities? And if so, what types of initiatives is TSAC currently looking into? So. All right, thank you, Mr. Vega, for your public comment. Um, counselors, if you have an answer, I would recommend after the meeting, um, introducing yourself to Mr. Vega. I remember actually meeting you at the CSUC uh, mm -hmm. meetings at the Capitol. So um, that's a, a you were, I remember seeing you there. So, um, but thank you for your public comment um, and we'll have counselors talk to you afterwards. So thank you so much. Sure. Uh, or you can wait up. Yes, we have a big agenda. So. Okay. All right, anyone else here for public comments? Please make yourself known or else we will move on to the rest of our agenda. Oh, public comment. Me too. No public comments for the public to speak. Just the public, okay. Yes, thank you. All right, with that, we will move on. Dr. Barone, we were still on advisor updates. Do you have any updates for us? Hi, I do. Um, can you hear me? Yes. OK, for some reason, I can't put anything in the chat anymore. I don't know why it says I'm not a member of the chat. So just so you know, I was trying to put things in the chat and I couldn't. Um, the things that I have are uh, the LGBTQ training that uh, William mentioned earlier. Um, Tyrell has asked me, I supervise Tyrell, if y'all could be a little bit more specific on exactly what type of training you want um, and or is it just a presentation overview of what the center offers? Um, so she felt like that was really important for not only what do you want to identify that, but also what's the purpose of the training? What problem or um, issue are you trying to address to help really frame what that conversation looks like? Um, so I just wanted to throw that in for Tyrell because she asked me to do that. Um, the other thing I wanted to also address um, is that we received a grant through Allstate um, this past year in the fall that we're implementing this year. Um, the grant is to support service opportunities and civic engagement on our campus. And so Tony Ajo, who you all met at the retreat um, and probably have met her in other contexts, and Armando are really helping to lead that work. And so I just want to put a bug in your ear and probably I will put the date on your calendar. Um, March 29th, we're doing a day of service that we're advertising across campus around Cesar Chavez Day. Um, and so really trying to get as many people as we can to participate in that. Um, and there will be other service opportunities um, all throughout campus throughout the semester. And we're hoping that if we're able to really demonstrate how civically engaged we are, whether that's through voter registration, um, getting students to vote for student government, getting students engaged in the various civic engagement opportunities on campus, that we will get this grant again to be able to continue to elevate um, civic engagement work. I'm confident we likely will get the grant again, but I really need um, us, I think, as student government to really be able to, to also demonstrate that as student leaders. So you'll be hearing more about that and other opportunities to do that on campus, and we might ask for some help with um, promoting that work. The other thing, um, Armando already talked about elect. Well, did you talk about elections? I you, He kind of talked about some of the things related to getting ready for elections. Should I just not, recognize I not and know. OK, I thought you did. Um, so elections will be coming up in just a few months. So just want you all to be thinking about succession planning or if you are planning on running again, that's great. But if you're not, be thinking about other student leaders on campus who you really um, think would be excellent, like Andrew here, who just came and expressed interest. Um, be thinking about other students who you think you can start mentoring or coaching or um, inviting them to meetings, learning about what TSAC is all about. Um, 
and getting some excitement around that now because before you know it, it will be March and we're going to be uh, really working to recruit additional potential counselors. So I want you all to really be thinking about that seriously. Um, and then um, Armando and I are, are working on the elections code in that timeline as well. And we'll be getting that to you um, here pretty soon in the next few weeks. Um, the other thing, sorry, I wrote some notes. Um, the Constitution, um, Armando already talked about that and the importance the importance of editing that and codifying that in this term. Um, the other thing I really want you all to think about is prioritizing. I said this a few weeks ago and I'm going to say it again. I'm going to keep reminding you all that you don't have a lot of time. And with these new vacancies, whether it was because of the resignation of Kristen or Naomi um, graduating um, or some other counselors who are inactive, I really want you all to think about what are the things that you can no longer do or just don't make any sense. I heard you all talking about that a minute ago, that it just doesn't make sense for you to be investing your time on some of these committees. I think we really need to like tighten up those committees um, and think about what is important and what do you really want to focus on and what are you all just not going to do anymore um that just doesn't make sense um because there's just not a lot of time and it would be much better for you all to focus your time and energy on the things that are really going to have some impact um before the end of the year um i think that's it those are my notes um but good to see you all and that's it thank you awesome thank you dr barone all right, well, with that, um, we will move on to the rest of our agenda. Um, first thing on the agenda is the election of our new chair. So um, as you all know, I'm interim currently, um, and we have a resolution that I have written on the table to elect ourselves a chair and a vice chair. So can you do I bring that up? So I sent this a uh, bit last week, so I'll give this probably five. I mean, I don't think it needs to be read, but what it is basically is. Um, does it need to be run? Well, given that we're changing that. Sure, why not? Why not? Once it gets pulled up, I'll read it. But um, TLDR of it, basically, first part, you elect an elections chair who will facilitate both elections. And then the way I have written it is that this can be a vice chair, vice chair system. And um, I mean, I'm, I wrote this resolution. No one wrote a competing resolution to this. That says co chairs. So, well, it says co chairs on there, but it's supposed to be chair, but whatever. Um, so, but yeah, so. Um, yes, what I'll do is I'll change that part. Um, I will do a friendly minute and change my own resolution. Do you mind changing the title of it, Kenny, to just chair elections? I don't know why the co's there. Or is that a PDF version of it? Okay. I see. Well, I'll figure that later. I'll change it later. But um, all right. Oh, is that there? Yeah. What? Do you mind putting it up on the screen so I can read it? All right. So um, I'm going to skip the abstract. Do you mind just switching to the there for us? This is basically a copy and paste of last um, resolution that we did in the fall to elect co-chairs. I've just changed the wording around um, and the dates around to vice chairs. So um, therefore, be it for the resolve, effective January 19th, we will hold nominations and vote for the vote for an elections chair to facilitate election. This is a temporary appointment that will dissolve after elections are held on the following SGT second meeting. People who are running for chairs or vice chair positions will not be able to serve as election chair. Uh, therefore, be it for the result, the election chair will also serve as acting chair of SGT SAG until the chair and vice chair elections are complete. Quick reminder, did we do this election already? Is that why I'm by? Um, we didn't do that yet? Okay, cool. All right, so therefore, be it for the result, candidates who are seeking to run for spring 24 chair and vice chair will announce their nomination during the meeting where the election is held. Therefore, be it for the result, during the January 19th meeting, um, the election chair will announce the candidates who are running for co chair slash chair, vice chair and select the first candidate to speak. So it's first come, first serve, basically, once you make yourself known. Therefore, be it for the resolve, the other candidates will lead out into the hall during this time. Therefore, be it for the resolve, the election chair will then allocate two minutes for the first candidate to read a prepared statement on why they should become chair of TSAC. The candidate doesn't have to use all the allotted time. After the candidate is finished with their statement, the chair 
will then allocate 10 minutes where councils will have time to ask questions of the candidates. This period will be facilitated by elections chair. Each council has maximum, uh, or each council has two minutes to ask a question. The council does not have to use all of its allotted time. Therefore, be it for the result, after the question period has ended, the floor will be yielded back to the elections chair, and the candidates will be led back into the hall. Therefore, be it for the resolve, the chair will then call the next candidate and repeat the process listed above for all candidates. Therefore, be it for the resolve, once all candidates have presented their case for becoming co chair slash vice chair, um, or, co or chair slash vice chair, I need to switch back to the other two. Um, have been, once they've been questioned by the council, voting will begin, and the elections chair will, will instruct the executive assistant to open a poll um, and a put a link in the chat for the candidates to be voted upon. And the voting will be anonymous, therefore be it for the result. Um, once all present council members have voted in the elections, uh, elections slash elections, the election chair and executive assistant will review and tally the votes. Do you mind scrolling down? There and uh, therefore, for the resolve, the chair will then announce the new chair and vice chair for the upcoming school semester, in which the chair will start immediately. Therefore, be it for the resolve, all are uh, and with the announcement of the new co-chair, the election chair will yield back the floor to the new elected chair, dissolving the chair position in the process, and business will continue as usual. A few errors in there, but um, I feel like we get the general process. So, with that, I will give or we'll do seven minutes to discuss this, and then we will vote on this. So. So it's time starts now. Gabe. Awesome. OK, <clears throat> so I think two things. Um, one, I thought we, we talked about like the president's cabinet part, and I didn't see it in this one. So I'm just kind of wondering where that aspect went about like the committee's aspect that we talked about that time. Um, and then secondly, I think there's like two conflicting statements in there about the about um, the the elections chair, I think. One, one, therefore, says like the, that the elections chair will continue the meeting, and then the next meeting is when the new chairs will continue. And then in the last one, it's like, no, the new chairs continue this meeting. So I think that's a little discrepancy between those two statements. Mm -hmm. So the first part, um, and Kenny, I've sent you the actual uh, doc, so you can edit this as well. First part doesn't really concern this. This is, we're talking about chairs here. Um, if you wish to have us vote on elections or the president's cabinet, I would suggest you put a resolution in the chat and we vote on it because this has nothing to do with that. Um, second part of it, um, I agree 100% with that statement putting out there. I this is a little bit more of a rushed resolution in my opinion, so my apologies. So, Denny, you're next. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't think that's what he said. Sorry, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. I just want to, like, because when we talked about in the, in the retreat, it was like very specifically just mostly to um, limit the powers of the chair and make sure we're having a shared structure. Uh, yeah, structure. I do agree that we should we should just add that uh, the whole president's cabinet. It's the only committee that the chair is. I don't know if expected. We can work on that word uh, to attend. But if other students, yeah, responsible. Yeah, responsible. But if someone has a grievance that they would like to bring into the president's cabinet, then the chair, you know, goes, uh, leaves it up to the other person. Uh, just because we're we're talking specifically about like the limits of the chair. Uh, go ahead. So what you're saying is you want me to put in here, the chair will attend president's cabinet meeting. The chair is generally responsible for attending president's cabinet unless decided otherwise by the council. Well, it's like it's voted on. Yeah, it I has like well because we had that we had that concern that like maybe three people want to have a grievance. So it has to be decided by the council. And then that would be a resolution. All right. Then. If another member had some pressing issue. To yes. Present. Yeah. Yeah. What's it? Uh, are you on the same board doc I am on? No, he. he I sent, sent you one to your email. He sent you the. Yes. So open that up. Sure yeah, yeah. So what I put here, the chair will be the attending member at the, at the president's cabinet meeting unless otherwise specified by the council. Unless otherwise, and then they will yield the seat. I think that specified okay. by the council is fine. The general council. All right. I can't spell for some reason. All right. Any other thoughts, comments on this? Any other 
David Jasmine. So just to verify, will the elections chair, not the election chair, yeah, will the elections chair give up the power today or in the next meeting? The chair will you back for dissolving the elections chair role. So once the elections are done, my role is dissolved. Okay, because I think it said like early, didn't it yeah, earlier. Yeah, earlier, but there was some some statement on top that it was. Did you have, happen to find out where the statement is? So we can. It wasn't in, in one of the therefores that you read. It was like um, that the, that the chair will take over the next meeting. Oh, in the beginning. Yeah. Somewhere yes. Like, so um, this is written for last week's meeting. That's why. Oh, okay. So the the my statement here at the end is I think it's. Oh. Once you, you my this position once there's a chair and a vice chair is dissolved once awesome. it's done so yeah, cool. that should solve your problem. Any other okay. questions, problems with the resolution? To the floor. No. All right. Thank you. I motion to vote on this resolution. By so, second. There's been a second by Denny. All in favor in um, moving past discussion, voting on this resolution, say aye. 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 Any opposition? Any abstentions? All right. We will move to voting then. And we will do roll call because that's more fun. So um, I will do a roll call. Um, the question on the table is whether we pass the resolution. It's yes or no. So uh, we will start with Matt. He went to the restroom. All right, we will not start now. We'll start with Gabe. Yes. All right, we'll start with Alex. Yes. Will? Yay. Denny? Yes. Re? Yes. Mike, I vote yes. Yes or no on this resolution, Matt? Yes. All right. It passes unanimously. Thank you, Council. Now we have to elect an elections chair as for this. Uh, yeah, so to f facilitate this election, we're going to have of the two chairs. So, um, yes, we need elected. I'm the interim. I'm the interim chair. We need elected I nominate chair. you. Who's you? I nominate you, Michael Warner. All right. Is there a second? Second. Uh... All right. There's been a second by Will. Uh, there's, I will say yes. Just to make us go by faster. Any other nominations on the table? All right. So I hearing see no nominations. I think we can just do yes or no. All in favor of me being elections chair, say aye. 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 Any opposition? Any abstentions? All right. So we will go on. That passes. I'll be elections chair. Now we will start with nominations for chair of TSAC. We'll start that and we'll do vice chair afterwards. So anyone who wants to nominate someone as chair of TSAC, put your nomination on the floor. I'll start. I nominate Denny to be chair of TSAC. I think she did a really good job last year leading us through a lot of tough situations. I second that. And there's been a second by Alejandro. Do you accept Denny? I do. All right. Thank you, Denny. All right, any other nominations for chair of TSAC on the table? I'll nominate Alejandro. All right, there's been one. There's been a nomination for Alejandro. Is there a second nominee, or second for Alejandro? That's for chair, not for vice chair. This is for chair. This is for chair. Is there a second? Oh, sure, I'll second. All right, Alejandro, your uh, nomination is a second. Do you accept or do you decline? I politely decline. Decline, all right. Like Very nice. All right. Oh. Any other nominations going once, going <laughs> twice? All right, Denny, you have two minutes to explain why would you like to be, uh, you would like to be uh, chair of TSAC. I mean, I don't know if like, like. <laughs> um, last semester was tough and we learned a lot. And I, I just, uh, I, I, I learned that I need to be more stern uh, if I wasn't enough last semester uh, on putting my organizing skills into this uh, and delegating and we have a lot going on and I think we have finally uh, narrowed our, our priorities and I would like I would like to take us there if you will allow me to but if not that's also cool yeah um uh, I'm excited. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you, Denny. Now, the council has 10 minutes to ask you questions. I'll start, um, and the council does not have to use all those 10 minutes. I have a comment. Um, yes, in, and I think some of my predecessors and people who here last year can agree. Denny, I think you've been the best chair in probably three years of TSAC. You've probably been the best chair we've had. You've been the most organized. You've been the most stern. You've really led us through some tough situations. Uh, I've seen five chairs, and you're ranked the best. 
So I think you'd be the best for this position. That's all I said. Whoever's next can say whatever they want. Are we make? I yes, just want to would. say that I agree with Mike. So, Will, if you have a comment or question for Denny. Oh, I do have a comment. First of all, I put my uh, hearing aids on and I can hear y'all clearly now. Like, thank you, God. So you did an excellent job uh, last uh, semester. You were able to quell foolishness in its embryo stages and you kept everything flowing. So I see you doing an excellent job and thank you for stepping to the plate. Will, you're up. Denny, 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 Denny. <laughs> I think you were fantastic last semester, and I have, like, I'm glad that you accepted. I was a little concerned that, you you know, you have a lot going on, but I think you'd be the best person for this as well. All right. Any other? Gabe, go ahead. Awesome. So on the topic of delegation, yes. how do you plan to delegate um your responsibilities as chair and delegate and all that fun stuff. Yeah, good question. Uh, I think with the president's cabinet, we have established that. Um, and I, I, what I did today is what I would like to do go, going on, just telling you what is going on on my side. And if somebody else has a grievance and would like me or want them to go, um, given that that is the like prime responsibility of the chair to represent, um, I would, I would like to have. I would like us to be a little more organized in the sense that like now again now that we have narrowed down our priorities uh, and like for example we met with Victor this morning and it was like okay I, I, Alejandro is going to reach out to the Regency uh, bus line and then Will is going to do the um, the resolution uh, so I think at this point it's about you have all stated and have been very loud about wanting to take more responsibility and I'm gonna take you account like accountable in that. I'm gonna like make sure that I have a list of the things we have to do and then like who's going where because I can't do it all. And that is something I also learned last semester. I cannot do all of this by myself. Um so I think when I mean more more stern, I am going to be more and telling you, like, hey, this needs to be done, this needs to be done. Like, who is willing to step up to the plate? Um, and if nobody is, then I'm gonna be like, hey, you're Ability, your abilities can help in this sense. And I'm going to be more vocal and I'm going to ask you to do more things. Uh, but I also, also keep in mind that that is emotionally taxing to ask things from people. Um, so just keep that in mind to yourselves also. Yeah. All right, awesome. Any other questions for Denny from the council? Going once, going twice, all right. Seeing here no the questions, the council advocates its time and we will go on to voting. The answer, the question on the table is yes or no for Denny as chair, and we will do roll call once more because that's more fun. Do I have to vote? You, you don't have to leave, no, uh, but you may vote. You may vote. So. Oh, did it? That is true. Uh, God dang it. Okay. So Kenny will do a poll in the chat, and, our, and we will do, uh, Kenny, put it in our main chat, please. And um, they. Yes, our lovely executive assistants. Love you, Kenny, and my roommate. So, you don't have to say that. I am chair of this meeting. I said it won't. Just kidding. So, but yes. Yeah, so Kenny will put a nice little poll in the chat. Make sure you have your uh, chat up here, and uh, you will vote anonymously. Yeah, the meeting chat. No, no, this is the, in our general TZAC chat. Yes. Let me fix something real quick. Da, 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 da. She has been removed. All right. Uh, no, Kenny will announce when it's up. So. Yeah, but Met Media knows not to vote on it, and Paul and Thomas aren't here, so they aren't going to vote on it. We're working on it. You could probably get away with using the Russian then if you want. Are we still doing elections for um, 
not just just the chair. Are we going to do sustainable? The other categories too. Polls in the chat. Okay. Polls in the chat. Please vote with your heart content. And once there is eight responses in there, Kenny, please announce the read. Yes. She took a phone with her, so yes. All right. See, so six for missing two responses. Yes, we're at seven responses. We need one more. Can we wait? The source of justice is going to join us on the big feed. So Gabe, uh, everyone is voting except Gabe. Um, he his. Oh, you got it. Lovely. Did you vote? All right, Kenny. Is there eight responses on there? There is. I'll let you announce the uh, results of our election. Yes, Denny is elected as chair for spring 24. Congratulations, Denny. Oh, she's in the bathroom. So, yes, yeah, so Denny's in the restroom. Uh, we will wait till she gets back and then we'll congratulate her and then we'll do vice chairs. Yeah. I know, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, so. Sure, we'll do that. Why not? Um, so next is vice chair um, and we will do the same thing prior. So we will open up for nominations. If you do so fit. And I nominate Gabe. Gabe Trujillo. All right, Gabe, there's been a nomination for Gabe as vice chair. Is there a second for that? I'll second that. All right, there's been a second. Gabe, do you accept this nomination? I, thank you so much, Ray, but I respectfully uh, decline. You know, right. yeah, <laughs> it's my last semester, so I'm like, you know, got to focus on my thesis and all that fun stuff. Love it. And real quickly, congratulations, Denny. You've been oh, elected you. chair of TSI. Congratulations. So, yes. So, Gabe has withdrawn his nomination. I will put a nomination out there. I, I, I nominate Alejandro. Yeah. For that. I second. And Rhea has been seconded. Alex, do you accept your nomination? I accept. Okay. Be lovely. Is there any other nominations for vice chair of TSAC? I'll nominate Will. Will. There's been a nomination for Will. Is there a second for Will? I second. There's been a second for Will. Will, do you accept your nomination? I'll accept. Right. Next year, so no. Oh, <laughs> I respectfully decline. Thank you, right. man. Will has declined his nomination. Is there any other nominations on the board? Going once, going twice. All right. As there are no other nominations, we will start with the process of things. Alex, you have two minutes to explain why you like to be vice chair. Peace out. Um. So I think I should be elected for vice chair because um, throughout the whole semester working alongside Denny, I feel like we have a really good work dynamic and I feel like I can really help her out um, with any kind of work that she might need help with. Um, aside from that, I mean, I feel like I can also help her manage the meetings, make sure that everybody is able to like stay in lane in the lane or like uh, it's not so scrambled up. So we make sure that everybody has like the, the opportunity to speak when they raise their hand. Um, Aside from that, I mean, I do have a little bit of experience running meetings with my organization, so I feel like that um, skill will also help me within these meetings as well. That's it. All right, Alex advocates his time. Now that council, you have 10 minutes to ask Alec, uh, Alex questions on why he should become vice chair. Alejandro, I'm just speaking. Go I ahead. think he'd be fantastic as a, a second in charge and supportive of our new chair and I would really appreciate you as our dynamic duo. All right, thank you. Re, any other comments, questions from the general counsel? Gabe, go ahead. <laughs> I agree. Oh yeah, so back again in the spirit of delegation, I'll ask you the same question that I asked Denny, is how do you plan to delegate your task and also supporting Denny as, as the vice chair? Um, one thing for sure, um, so, the way I really go about it is I kind of like pay attention to 
um, everybody's, like I would say, weaknesses and strengths. And then depending on what that um, task is, I automatically think like, oh, this person has this skill in this. Maybe this would be good for them. They're able to um, get that job done. And then aside from that, you know, I've also had other leadership positions where I've had to delegate tasks to members within my organization. So, of course, I do have a little more experience in that. Awesome. Thank you, Gabe. Any other questions for Alex on the floor? Going once, going twice. All right, we will move on to voting. So our executive assistant has put a vote in the chat. Please vote. I'm really good. Six responses, we're waiting for two more. So thumbs up, has everyone voted, Kenny? Don't you dare go to the bathroom, Alex. Don't you dare go to the bathroom. Don't go to the bathroom yet, what are you doing? So dead, okay. Well, give a thumbs up. Kenny put a thumbs up there. Oh my. There's two, we're missing two people on the voting, so. Did I submit my vote? Oh, well, we're at seven. Is it supposed to be eight? Yes, there's eight people. Eight oh, councils. Make sure you hit submit. Yeah, I didn't hit submit either. Yeah, same. Did you submit? Yes. Is it me? Okay, does everyone's thing say your response has been sent? Yes. I think so. Did Alex vote? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know what? We're just going to, you should as you lose, everybody. Uh, we will close voting. Kenny, I'll let you announce the results. <laughs> yeah, it's unanimous. Alejandro is elected for vice chair. For Very for nice. Congratulations, Ali. Oh, wait, he's in, he's in the bathroom now, too. Well, thank you, all, everyone. Um, I, my, with the election of a chair and vice chair, my clowning but it gets, gets dissolved now. So I will pass on the imaginary gavel to our new chair of SGT SAC for spring 2024, Jenny Blasios. Thanks, guys. Let's get stuff done. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. So we moved, right, so we moved the old business to number two. So we will be uh, discussing the Nuggets Day Corporation with CMEI. Um, do you guys remember this, anyone? Yeah. Yes, that we were going to do a Nuggets Day. We were going to we were going to sponsor a couple of tickets, so like sort of like first class. So they get to be, the students get to be close to the court, and they also I believe they also get a tour of the facility. Uh, don't quote me on that one. That's what I was told, but I will check. Um, so what I need from you, it's um, we are planning to buy 40 tickets, 37 of these will be reserved for students and three will be reserved for chaperoning faculty slash staff. Mm -hmm. What is up? Oh, Alexand Alejandro, congratulations. You are vice chair of TSAC. Uh, and we are officially running our first. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, this is our resolution. So I'm not, I'm going to move it to Mike because someone else needs to take over because yeah. Uh, so no, your planning button is not over. <laughs> oh wait, I okay, that's fine. I'll just read the resolution. So this was a resolution from last semester, yeah. I believe. Um, Alex slash Dane, would you like to explain the resolution? I can moderate it. I can no, I can you, explain you it. it so. Yeah, I can explain it. Um, well, I need to see it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is where we have fun here. Um, okay, so. A total of 3,600 is needed to purchase tickets. And then we are also planning to do a social tailgate. We're going to need $550 for catering, $250 for activities, $100 for prizes. Um, they will likely be MSU uh, themed. Uh, and we might get some nuggets uh, merchandise as well. I know $100 doesn't get as much, but we know koozies and 
and we'll, we'll see. We'll also reach out to the Nuggets and see if they want to give us some merchandise. Uh, and then $100 for venue reservation. Um, so both portions end up to be uh, $4,500. So I, um, we are asking for twenty five hundred dollars from TSAC. Um and of course, this will be coming out of the budget committee. Uh, that's where we. No, I'm so sorry, the PR committee. That's what I'm proposing. But of course, as we discuss, if someone else would like to throw in money from their committee, if it's acceptable, and just just let us know. Um, and with that, I yield my time. Unless Alex, do you have anything else? given it our resolution? Uh, no, not really. You basically said everything that's on there. So. Sweet. Okay, then Mike. All right, lovely. Well, we'll open this up <clears throat> for seven minutes of discussion for this resolution. But, but so. we can, you and I can moderate this because it's our resolution and to uh, limit conflict of interest, Mike is going to model. Yes. Well, you had your hand up for this resolution. 2,500 in total, correct? Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. How this is directed to the chair of the budget committee. How does this factor in the bigger picture with the budget with the other uh, committees, such as the PR committee? As in, like, how much does that leave the PR committee? How much funding? So I, from the beginning of the the term um i already put away a total of 10,000 so we can do food for finals um that still leaves them with a good portion of money left over it's just a matter of well from what it seems like we don't know if necessarily there's going to be any more events on behalf of pr committee um uh, but aside from that we will still be um sitting good but of course if pr committee doesn't want all these funds to come out of his uh, budget, then we can move around some numbers and get funding from other um, stuff. Matt. Yeah. So, Matt, you're up next. So, you said you already earmarked like 10,000 separate from the money that's being requested? Because that would cover food for finals and our the tabling bill. So, so the 10,000 was for food for finals, and then whatever's remaining is whatever other events you have. Do you know how, how many oh. tabling events you're going to be having in total and how much you're going to need? For We're this? going to do about one a month. One a month. We earmarked the 4000 from the bill. Some of that might be able to okay. be skewed some, but. Okay. Yeah. I mean, aside from that, you know, um, from some of the counselors that resigned or graduated, we do have a little surplus. So we definitely have um, flexibility to still mm -hmm. fund this. Getting. Can we can we have that that number? Because I think Will was asking for a specific number. Like what if if you were to if we were to give this money for this? Well, wow. because I think I think PR committee is concerned. So let's say so the ten thousand I already removed. Um, we're going to be left off with about eight thousand dollars left in the events budget. And then I have a comment to help alleviate Matt's concerns. Alex forgot to mention this. We're having a budget committee meeting after this meeting. Mm -hmm. um, with the surplus of the resignation and the, the graduation, that's a budget surplus we have already. Plus, um, if you're not active on this council, you don't get paid either. Mm -hmm. So let's just say um, we're going to use that money and price surplus it. So you see the money back, most likely. Plus, with the budgets of other committees that are not quite being used. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about y you having no budget. So if it helps. Um, so with that, um, other than food for finals or tabling, the only other event would be welcome week or spring fling or whatever they call it now. Um, so I think that would be fine at this point. And let's other people come up to me with other event ideas. All right. Any other, um, we have three minutes of any other discussion on this amendment or this resolution? Going once, going twice. All right. We will move to voting then. Do I have the motion to move to voting? I second. 
I, I motion moved voting, and Denny is seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition? Any abstentions? All right, we pass and we move to voting, and we will do roll call because that's more fun. So um, we will start off with Matt. Yes. All right. Thank Gabe. You. Aye. Yes. There. Alex. Yes. Will. Yay. Ree. Aye. Denny. Yes. Mike says yes, and that's all members present. You, 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 you skipped skin. over me. Oh, John. I'm so sorry, John. You're here, yes. <laughs> That's the second time you did it, but I know it was an oversight. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. You weren't here when I first wrote down the list, so I'm so sorry, John. Yes, thank you. Next time, shout at me. Um, with that, everyone here vo is voted yes. The resolution passes. Um, there you are, Alex and Denny. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, I move this back to Denny. I don't want it back. I don't oh, want it back. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, the election of the new sustainability chair. Um, Let's begin with that. Does anyone have any nominations they would like to put forward? Yep. I have a nomination. Uh, I, he spoke first. I'm going to let him nominate someone. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'll, I'd like to nominate John Nelson for the new sustainability chair. Okay. I'll second it. Sounds good. We have one nomination. Anybody else would like to nominate someone? Beautiful. Okay. Then, given that we have no one else, John, you have two minutes, right? Yes. No, we can just vote. Oh, we can vote? Yeah, the resolution is just for chairs. We Beautiful. Can, can okay, vote. then let's just vote. Okay. I would be good with the sustainability uh, chair because I already practice these things at home in my life. I compost my thoughts. I compost food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always thinking about ways to reduce and regulate. I've even changed how I spend my finances. I don't even act like the average American. I go out and buy a couple of things and eat that. It's caused my weight to go down. I mean, I have transformed. So I'm ready to spearhead this project. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I motion we move, unless anybody has any questions for John. Okay, I motion. Do you have a question? Well, um, I have potentially a question. Does the project, the flow project, work with the sustainability? You know, the last thing Naomi was working with is that a just, uh, just more of a clarifying question for me, not if anyone knew the answer to that. Repeat the question, please. The the flow project. Oh, yes. The... So I can personally say that I would have no problem handling that because I can have conversations with men and women about situations and able to help them get the tampons, Kotex, Diva cups and whatever is needed. Uh, and I, I have already connected with the um, what is that place downstairs on the first floor of the Tivity building where you actually pick up the uh, it's with the police department. The um, Phoenix Center? The who? The no. Phoenix Center? The Phoenix. That's not the first The one. Phoenix Center. That's why I got them originally. Okay. okay. So. Um, I guess. So it, this is an ongoing project. There's all, like there's already a lot going on with it. Gabe has been very nice to organize a lot of things. So that's going to mean you're going to have to take over that work. Like Gabe's going to have to give you everything he's done. And then if, if you end up being the sustainability track committee, but I think he has something to say. Before I keep, yeah, please, please, before I keep going. Yeah, thank you. Um, Yeah, so with that project, I, I've already connected with the Phoenix Center, the Health Center, uh, GITA, uh, CCD, um, basically, Transitutional and MSC and CCD. CU Denver has still not gone back to me. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens with that. Um, So that's kind of where that's at. Um, I... I believe Armando has a contact, like the direct contact for on below. Um, and and I, I know like the basic gist of what was going on. I just kind of helped Naomi just gather people. Um, and, and so I can like forward any emails that I have, all that fun stuff to anyone, who, whoever becomes a chair. Um, however, I also want to make sure that, that, it's, that this is 
a very sensitive topic in the sense of um, one, it, it dives into everything about gender and you know um, tre- treating this with like a, a, a level of respect, especially when it comes to the LGBT community, um, and also just thinking about um, uh, to what I was going to say the other part, and yeah, and I'll just leave it at that for now. Yeah. So I think it's like very important to like notice that is because it's tri institutional and because the project is so big and it requires so much mindfulness on what we have as an ideology on gender and sexuality is going to take a lot of organization, a lot of it. And they have the general gist, and we have already comp- like we already committed to finish and seeing this project through. Um, I would not like for this to be a TSAC issue that. It just like flushes out. Um, so if be might be mindful of that, that it's a lot of work. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Any has anything to say? Okay. I'm gonna motion that we move to vote. We're end the discussion. Second. Thank you. Everybody in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, we are voting uh, for John to be the new sustainability chair. Um, Kenny, can you put that in the chat? You want me to do roll call? I just, okay, let's do a roll call. Okay. Okay, anybody, everybody who go, uh, we're voting for John to be chair. Everybody who agrees, say aye. Oh. Aye. Aye. Um, any abstentions? Any objections? Okay, congrats, John. Thank you. Sustainability chair. Um, beautiful. Okay, next item in the agenda. Uh, accountability constitutional amendment three. We are not handling that this week. We're going to be actually tabling this until next week. Sounds good. Based on information that has come to light. Beautiful. That one. Okay. However. (laughs) Oh, you have a new one. Yeah, okay. You have another one. Resolution. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Election of NRM SACAP representative. Um, As we know, our our SACAP representative uh, stepped down. So we need an interim one until the semester ends. Um, and I will say we start with nominations for this. Ray? I nominate Will. And I'll second the nomination. I uh, humbly accept. Thank you. Thank you. Any other nominations? Hmm? Okay, going one, just going twice. Three hippopotamuses. Okay. Um, yeah, you can. Okay, we'll discuss this later. Uh, Matt has something to say. Can I ask a clarifying question? Yeah. What days are the SACAP meetings? 10 o'clock. Oh, I heard something. The meetings for SACAP at, are on Fridays at, from 10 to 11. It's off. It's off week. Um, no, your microphone's off. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, any? Uh, for stake had the meeting. So, basically, there's a working meeting and then there's like the regular, regularly scheduled meeting. So, the regularly scheduled meeting is Fridays, again, from 10 to 11. And the working meeting is also Fridays, 10 to 11. Um, the regularly scheduled one is required, while the working one is highly encouraged. Highly encouraged. Beautiful. Okay. Matt? I'll throw my hat in the ring. Okay. Anybody want to second that? I'll second it, Matt. As the, a second that nomination. Okay, we have a second. Beautiful. Uh, we have two people. And then that's when this is the thing. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Since we have, uh, we started with Will and then Matt. Matt, uh, actually. Do both of you step out of the room? Yeah, you both. No? Go, go, go. 
One stays. Okay, so you step out of the room. Oh, Matt steps out of the room. Sorry, Matt. I I am not at the electrons chair. Let's just put it out there. Okay, sweet. Will, you have... Give me one sec. I can hear myself somewhere. Okay. Okay, Will, you have two minutes to tell us why you can be the... Uh, why you want to be the uh, interim chair for SICAF. Nope. Okay. The rep, the rep, not the chair. Thank you so much for providing this time for me. Uh, I would love to be your next SACAB representative alongside uh, Gabriel because there is a lot of change that needs to happen at the tri-institutional level. And I'm coming from the tri-institutional committee. I already am aware of some issues for the other schools that would facilitate me being able to talk to them and bridge those gaps with the other SACAP representatives for that, for those schools. Um, alongside uh, working with those schools, thinking about the EBT machines for the campus and other great ideas like that, um, I would make sure to not let those things fall through the cracks once uh, I make it, if I make it to SACAP alongside Gabriel Trujillo. Okay. Thank you. Anybody has any questions? Okay, uh, Michael. I have a question for you, Will. So I was chair of SACAB for all of last year, and I found AHEC to be one of the hardest entities to work with ever. And I find that they really do not put students in mind when they make their decisions. So how do you plan on bursting through that bubble? And maybe, I mean, it's hard enough to get their attention. What are your thoughts on how you're going to work with them? So I would try to do the peaceful approach, right? <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, I'm sure some of you know me. I'm very persistent and I get on people's butts about things like I'm showing up to their offices and that has upset a few people before in the past. But as someone who's representing the student body, that does not bother me. Like I won't let like them being upset with me because I am persistent be an issue. Like if something needs to be addressed, then I'm going to address it. Dave, do you have something to say? Yeah, I just want to make a comment. I think because of which the, the, the connection that Will has already with the tri-institutional committee and, you know, working already tri in that tri-institutional environment, I think Will would be just a great say cab rep. Um, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Anybody else? Sweet. Okay. Top out, my friend. Hi, Matt. Oh, my God. Okay. Matt, you have it. two minutes to tell us why you should be the SACAB rep. Um, so I want to throw my hat in the ring as the SACAP representative work with Gabe. Because um, I think there's a number of things that have been discussed this year that I would love to advocate with Gabe at at the meetings, um, including like the voting rights, the AMP flow project, trying to advocate for that at that level, the SNAP vending machines, and learn more of that process with and work hand to hand with Gabe. And um, hopefully he would help delegate stuff to me and we'd work as a great team. Okay. Uh, okay, let's start. Hold on. Let me start with questions. Um, Mike. I pose the same question I posed to Will. So I was chair of SACAB for an entire year, sadly. Um, and I, I found working with AHEC to be hostile. Like, they're completely hostile to the students' needs. They don't, I mean, we have no way of controlling them. The schools have no way to control them. I think they're probably the worst thing to ever happen on this campus. So how do you plan on breaking through that uh, cloud cloud of uh, discontent and really getting, getting them to focus on students? Well, it's uh, honestly a lot of pact. It's a mix of holding accountable and understanding that they may not 
be every step of the way within our best interest and trying to curve it that way. Um, but also trying to work with the other SACAB representatives to talk about how SACAB and FACAB can even try and get like voting rights. Um, so we can bring some of that power back to the campus. Okay. Does anybody have any, any other questions? From our other SACAB representative, you have any questions at all? No? Okay. So we'll give you oh, wait, no, she does have one. Okay, no, he does have one. Nobody go get you this yet. Not yet. Oh my God. Come, just. What is the question? Awesome. So the cool question is um, for, let's see, how much experience ha have you had working in, in a tri-institutional group? Um, and then how will you assure that there's um, representation? Because right now, SACAP is very small. <laughs> there's only three of us. And so how, how will you ensure that although MC Denver has, you know, that extra representation, that everyone's, that there's still that tri-institutional feeling to it? Yeah, um, so as most of you know, I've been working with Will with the transitional group. Um, so already trying to work from that angle and trying to think of those bigger solutions that aren't just for MSU students, but for the broader community. Again, that's why I want to bring up things like the amp flow stuff. I know UCD has some stuff on that, but make sure it hits both MSU and CCD. And again, working with Leo, who's CCD's uh, student government president on the SAM machines, because I think AHEC would also be a good one to facilitate having those, not just in spaces for MSU Denver students, but across campus. Okay. Um, let's bring Will. Anybody else has any questions? Let's bring Will in. It's not funny. Right, Kenny? Look at Kenny. Thank you uh, to our efficient executive assistants. How is this a perfect? Okay. Oh, I was in order to vote for Alejandro. Please vote. Submit your votes. Sorry. We are at four. We need four more. No, we need. Oh, we need. Oh, my, my bad. We need. We need six, seven. We need six. There's okay. A responses. Kenny, do you have the results? Everybody has responded. Yes, everybody has responded. Uh, Will, you are the interim take a breath for spring Thank of 2024. Okay, we have a new take a breath. It's done. Sweet. Ah. Uh, we're moving to discussion on vote on whether we keep the non-standing committee assignments. Uh, that is Mike, and he has something to say. Yes, as much as I'd like to have a nice lengthy discussion and prove a point, uh, but like on like what committees here we do or do not need, I'm going to push this to next week for the sake of time. So let's just discuss next week. So I'm and I'm going to add to that uh, in that if you guys can please come prepared next next week on uh, telling us. If you're not the budget committee, for example, you know, like why should your committee stay? Perfect. Like I know we've said that will probably is focused somewhere else, uh, but just be prepared. Can I yes. mention one thing? Yes, there's only four committees that are mandated, and that's PR, budget, sustainability, and um, accountability. Those are the four that are mandated. Everything else on these updates definitely don't have to exist if you don't want them to. So um, I just say come prepared next week for um, I have some ideas of some things you could probably cut to kind of save time and manpower. So just come prepared um, and if you're willing to stay in your positions, if not, let us know. But next week, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So we're tabling that. Um, okay, re, um, we are. It's time to talk about the resolution to exercise new accountability committee procedure for council member adherence and I will give you the floor to introduce it. Thank you. 
Um, this comes on the heels of the recently approved um, accountability committee um, and our procedures. So the abstract here is the TSAC approved a, constitution, a constitutional amendment with a new accountability committee structure and procedures for council member adherence on November 17th of last year. This committee now has the responsibility to follow the new procedure for managing counselor performance or lack thereof. So whereas counselors Paul Nelson and Thomas Cheney have attended no university committee meetings in their roles as TSAC members, have not attended, communicated with any representative or advisor of SGTSAC, nor voted in any council meetings that occurred after October 20th of 2023. Neither counselor participated in the January training retreat and did not contribute to strategic planning at that event in the council's role to represent the student body. Whereas advisor Dr. Cynthia Baron have requested input and participation from counselors Nelson and Cheney on more than one occasion for which she received no reply. Whereas counselors Nelson and Cheney have made no attempt to interact with SGTSEC members, advisors, nor been active in the organization within the last four months. Therefore, be it resolved as part of the inaction and seeming abandonment of their positions since, it should say, October of 2023, Paul Nelson and Thomas Cheney are now under consideration by the larger council to be suspended for a period of 30 days, which will revoke office act access unless in the presence of an active SGTSAC counselor. Therefore, be it further resolved, these counselors will have the opportunity during suspension to attend meetings without voting rights for one month and undergo training by the Restorative Justice Coalition participating with SGTSAC council members. At the end of one month, counselors Nelson and Cheney will have the opportunity to rejoin the full membership of the council for the remainder of the current term. So other actions that would happen following that month are according to what we've agreed upon by the accountability committee. This is just to start that action moving. Any discussion, please. Start with 10 minutes of discussion. Um, so re we, I'm just gonna start real quick. We are voting on whether we agree that they are suspended and all of these limitations as in lack of access to the office and so on. That's what we're, that's what we're doing. Yes. Okay, that was my question. Yes, and um, the specific date um, following which we have not had any interaction with them was October 20th. October 20th was the last meeting where they were excused from um, having COVID, and then there was no communication after that. Okay, Michael. I have a friendly amendment to this as well. Um, add in their um, continued suspension of stipend until... Um, Re, until revoted on by the council, so the continue of suspension with they, they would continue not to receive a stipend unless the council votes to reinstate it. it it's in the uh, it's in the resolution um, passed, but might be worth it. I don't know. It's up to you. I, okay. I, yeah. Um. And continue. Um. Non receipt. My updated one of the monthly stipend. May I? Yeah. So I'm looking at where it says counselors Nelson and Cheney will have the opportunity to rejoin. Mm -hmm. I think you should say Paul Nelson since my last name is Nelson. Oh, good idea. I'll do that. Thank you. I will change that now. Thank you. I apologize for that. So I'm changing all instances of where it just says Nelson and Cheney to be Paul Nelson, Paul Nelson and Thomas Cheney. Um, and then under the first, therefore be it resolved, I am changing the second line to be October 20th. 2023, and then on the last line of that first resolution or re resolve, um, 
after the semicolon SGT site counselor, this includes halting continued. This includes continued non receipt of the monthly stipend. How would you like to say that? Of the monthly, uh, this includes continued suspension of the monthly stipend until future vote. How? Uh, reinstated by a vote of the general council. That will only be reinstated by a vote of the general council. I I am concerned about something. Yes. And I, I am concerned that when when they expressed they left the meeting and they were not going to show up anymore, that they did it as an act of protest and their inaction and their incommunication could be interpreted as like their first right amendment to free speech. And I like how are we interpreting that into this? And that's a I think that's a question for my advisor. Um because, yeah, I, I'm concerned. Valid question. I think in act of protest, it's understandable, and I can definitely under, agree, resonate, and understand where you're coming from. Um, yet, our, the advisors have communicated to them, other university officials have communicated to them on things related to but not pertaining their seats and, you know, their 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 duties. Um, and there has been inactivity and no communication. And also that no communication has now led to, we have sent the warnings, we have sent the letters, we have let them know this is what's going on moving forward and continued no communication is a great. I have, I, if I had Mike first and then I will have, I'll have you, Will. Just a comment on that. We have, um, the rules here that we've established and I think First Amendment rights, whatever, like, I mean, we have clear rules. If you're not following in accordance to those rules, then I don't think your First Amendment rights are quite, that isn't, first, the First Amendment does not advocate you following the rules that we have voted on, I don't believe. I think any lawyer would agree to that. Well, I, that's, uh, that's a big statement. Uh, and, okay. Um, well. It's just, um, unfortunate events right that have unfolded and we also have to remember that we did sign and agree to following uh policies rules set um before us and we agreed to them so that's 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 all i have to say in that matter okay anybody else has anything to say so I have a question. So AHAC disables the IDs today after our meeting or that's already been done? That is a question for our advisor. No. OK. OK. Yeah, that is uh, that is something else we're going to add to our advisors to do list. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, OK. Anybody else has anything? We are really close to those seven minutes. Um, actually, sorry. Yeah, quick. we have 50 minutes, 50 seconds. Uh, so I just want to get some clarification as to like if they do rejoin versus when they if they don't, it, that's not covered in this resolution, correct? No, we would have to create a resolution for the next what? steps, depending on our uh, accountability bill that we passed before break. <laughs> Oh, uh, bill or amendment? Oh, the amendment that we had. Okay. Like Mike has a point of clarification. The, the way it's written, we'd have to, at the end of the 30 days, we are mandated to either vote to expel or continue expansion, expulsion or vote them back in. So that's the end of the 30 days. So with the passing of this um, thing, we have 30 days on the clock. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, I'm motion. We move to vote with and to finish discussion and we move to vote. I second that. Okay. Um, everybody who agree to move into voting, say aye. 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 aye.
Uh, everybody, okay, any abstentions? Any opposition? Okay, we move to voting. Um, We're just going to do a general vote. We're not going to do roll call, just like we did. OK. OK. Uh, OK, we are voting uh, to apply these uh, limitations and to our colleagues, Paul Nelson and Tim, uh, Thomas Cheney. OK, and everybody who agrees, say aye. 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 Um, any abstentions? I abstain. Any opposition? OK, it seems like it passes. Um, and that was it. Unless anybody else has anything to say, I vote we uh, end the meeting. Or I, yeah, I motion we adjourn the meeting. Um, oh, I'm sorry. What's up? Um. Is Dr. Brown still there? First off, I want to clarify a few things. Yes, I'm here. Um, so for specification purposes with the LGBTQ plus training, I did email Tyrell back. Okay. Um, I forward that email to you. I'm not sure if you've received it or opened it, um, okay. but it was more in regards to clarifying and maybe maybe I need to talk to Tyrell personally. Um, but it was along the lines of more awareness of sexuality and gender and the summary of services provided by the LGBTQ plus office. OK, I'm not sure if you've heard anything else on, okay. on that. No, when did you send the email? Was it just now or was it a few days ago? It was two days ago, Wednesday, and okay. I forwarded it to you, Armando, and the TSAC members. But I, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add something. Gender and sexuality, that's literally like everything that encompasses right? like their department. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like absolutely everything. So you're going to, I think you have to ask a specific mm -hmm. question within this domain. Uh, I think like going to Gita and perhaps like looking at some of the pamphlets they have and then figuring out like what. Yeah, like what specific topic we're talking about, because sexuality and gender, it's that's the whole. It's really whole deal. broad. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. OK, so it could be, you know, something about how can you, I don't know, find ways to be more inclusive within TSAC or how can you I don't know, like they're. I think what Tyrell is looking for is a very specific um, topic that you want her to cover around like a whether it's a issue or something that maybe students are coming to you on campus about or do you know what I mean? Like what exactly is it that you're wanting to learn more about specifically um, and like what is the purpose of the training? Well, I'd like to pose the question because I have emailed the council a few times about this and talked about okay. it. And since we have time, I'd like to handle this if we can now. But we like we don't have like the subdivisions of the topics of topics in front of you. So I think I would what I recommend is that you go and like bring us some ideas and then we'll figure it out because I don't like I don't really know. OK. OK, that works for me. OK. Okay. Motion Anybody? to adjourn this meeting. A second. Okay. Everybody who agrees, say aye. 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 Okay. Any objections? Any abstentions? Okay. No. We are done for today. Thank you, everyone.